Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's deep. About to react to this vid by Jamari. It's titled "The Logan Paul Drama Gets Deeper." And I scammed through the video, and apparently he's beefing with Gideon or something like that. He presses him, so we're gonna see that as well. Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. So this morning I woke up and I felt almost like a kid on Christmas morning because I knew this press conference right here would be going down and that it would provide for some very interesting insights into this fight coming up between this Twitter troll and this scammer, Logan Paul. Yes, I know KSI and Tommy Fury will also be facing off that night, but I feel like due to Dylan Dennis' recent online work, that fight has really taken the back burner to Logan Paul versus Dylan, and I would think the majority of the people will be tuning in to watch that. So right off the bat, Logan and Dylan were supposed to have some sort of face-off, and apparently Dylan was late, so Logan Paul started chirping him on Instagram. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a log off, guys. This is this is boring. I just came out here to let you guys know that this dude is a real, real like online troll. He's great. He's great. We get it. We like him on Twitter. He's, he's funny. He makes funny jokes and shit. But when it comes to real life and actually fighting, Dylan Dennis is not showing up. And that shows you exactly who he is. He knows what the outcome's gonna be. When it comes to real life, he's not ready for it. 1,530 days. That's how long it's been since Dylan last fought. And so it seems like that's going to be Logan's main line throughout this entire thing. Yeah, the is that Dylan on. is basically a scaredy cat who's always running when it's actually time to fight. And as you guys will see from the press conference here in a little bit, Dylan's main attack is still going to be on Logan Paul's wife. Mm. Right here, the banter continues as Logan Paul discusses the situation with KSI on Instagram Live. Dylan has locked himself in his room and refuses to come down. Really? The little hermit. <laughs> the little hermit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, All this talk shit about well. him. All this talk on his stories Instagram, but then in real life, scared. Did you think he... I think he's shitting himself. Facts. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he sees us, bro, he's gonna be terrified. He's gonna be mumbling all over the place, bro. Yeah, but we just need him to show up. Oh my god, this is so cringy. <laughs> Scared of y'all. Yeah, it's like not giving that. Y'all are not intimidating. It's sorry. interesting to me how these two went from despising each other pretty right, much. Right, now they best friends. To genuinely seeming like they're best friends through this business partnership. Here, Logan just continues via Instagram saying Dylan locked himself in his room and refused to come out for our face to face. I had to shame him into showing up. This loser absolutely melted in person. <laughs> Listening to him stumble through every sentence was painful. Can't wait for y'all to see the real though, Danis. LOL, LOL. And nothing that interesting happened during their face-off. All the juicy stuff kind of came in when they all got together. Logan, Paul, KSI, Tommy Fury, Dylan Dennis, Tommy Fury's father. Well, I guess there it's was fun, this moment man. from the face-off. Yeah, go try it. Yeah, try it. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> 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 and then it was time for the so actual press funny. conference. And this is how this man, what Dylan, arrived. Oh. 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 <laughs> This is a joke. So just trolling from the star version. Look who hits my hair with that. It's a good troll. It's a very good troll. This was kind of Logan's first shot at Dylan. So what they got to do with Logan? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dylan Dan is the real fighter who got choked out by a bouncer in a club. Your girl got oh, by 75 guys before he married her. Shut the f*** up. Uh, apologies. Apologies where's to the ladies. Where's Nina? Where's Nina? Personal security. Yo, where's your fiance? I found the bouncer. Where's your fiance? I took Dylan Dan out. I flew him to London. And Chance is here in case you try any sicko shit, you dirty dog. So I gotta say, I think this was a pretty good tactic from Logan. Okay, not a bad troll. And honestly, I think that Dylan's gonna have to find something else to kind of talk about. I mean, after a while, it does just come off as corny. You come off as a bit of a one-trick pony when you're just saying, Talking where's about, your yeah. fiance? She 75 guys. She smashed Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, yes, it is a good burn, but come on, let's not beat it to death. And apparently today is actually Dylan's birthday. And so Logan brought out this cake for him. Happy birthday, dear Dylan. Yo. I like it guys, it's great entertainment. Of course KSI is in there sucking him off. Right! KSI, is he coming for oh, whatever nigga you fighting, Tommy Fury? Is he talking shit about him as well? Do that. And we get a zoom in on the cake. 
And I love how during these press conferences, these people are always like standing up and standing down and like doing the oh, hold me back type of thing. And it's also That's hilarious to me how Tommy Fury has been involved with all this influencer boxing because the man can clearly actually fight and he's not really interested in talking shit. So he's kind of just there. And then here Logan really mm -hmm. starts defending his girl, talking about how she's a superstar while Dylan's a broke boy. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Run your mouth all you want. No, because you know how these shit's doing, buddy. Yeah, well, you would never be with any girl as beautiful as my girl. Yeah, okay. My lovely Every single guy in the earth is beautiful as my girl. My superstar whose apartment costs more than your entire network. Yeah, because you're never to cap real quick for it. Bro, 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 bro. You resorted to attacking a woman as your fight tactic? No wonder you friends with Conor McGregor. No wonder you friends with Conor McGregor. Where is he, by the way? You know that Logan practiced that one in the mirror last night. To me, he's a very performative person, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's, like, literally in the mirror constantly practicing his lines. Where's Coach McGregor, and why would he take my million dollar bet? Why would he take my million dollar bet? Why would he pay tax people from crypto suit? Ooh! Mm. <laughs> Okay, he said, I'm working good. on it, Dylan, I'm working on it. <laughs> As he flies in on his private jet. No, I'm and right working here, on Logan it. had made a comment about how Jake had apparently slept with Dylan's ex-girlfriend while they were still dating. And this was Dylan's response to that. You gotta take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. <laughs> At least I got rid of this. You're marrying one. Ooh. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. You gotta take it. <laughs> And then things started getting really crazy when Logan started bringing up the idea that in the past Dylan's mom was selling her body for money. Wait, he what? To the idea that his dad had that, apparently right. hooked up with his ex girlfriend. And in response to this, Dylan talked about leaking some picture that could apparently destroy Logan Paul's entire marriage and career. And this is when Tommy Fury's father, John, steps in to kind of save the day and is like, hey, all these. Outside people just need to be off limits. This is gonna. Oh my god. He starts flipping shit, and this is pretty much the end of the press conference. <laughs> what is Chris Honestly, doing? Honestly, this part right here. This is so Just to me, looks ridiculous. extremely fake. It looks. Honestly, like it was possibly orchestrated before. Yeah, the it's fight giving reality start. TV. This is so uh, flipping stupid. shit. And, I mean, look at Logan up here, very performative. Makes me really wonder how much of this is genuinely real. I mean, we've recently <laughs> seen the things that Adam Twenty Two was willing to orchestrate for the continuation of clout, and I wouldn't necessarily put it beyond Logan to use his fiance as a pawn in his game. That cake that Logan had made of Dylan knocked out. He took the head off of it and threw it at him. What? Alright. <laughs> this is stupid. Hold me, back. Hold me back. What is this junk? Logan's over here juiced to the gills looking like 1999 Jose Canseco. And you gotta love this man, Gideon. Escaping with the Dylan Danis cake. How does this man always find himself in the mix? I do not know. This is why I get and to after him. the press conference, even Gideon got into it with Logan Paul. Okay, anyone out here can get the smoke, apparently. How my two face? How my two face, Logan? Ooh. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. I'm going to ask you, Corny has to switch seats so I can enjoy my day. And that has nothing to do with it. It's what you did with Jay. That's all it has to do. It's Bro, what I'm you did with Jay. Brother. I defended my brother. I defended my brother. But why were you defending him with KSI? Bro, it's my business partner. Okay, okay, okay. Obviously, okay. Hey, I swear your loyalty you loyalty love. You're mad Two-Face. No, I'm not Two-Face. See, this goes back to what Jake said. This, this goes back to what Jake said. So he said, oh... I was only defending my brother. Like, that's why I guess he laughed at him. Or I don't know what the fuck they talk about. <laughs> whatever whatever issue they had between each other. He's basically using that as an excuse. Like, okay, well, I'm siding with my brother. Like, that's why I'm against you in whatever type of way. But he's like, oh, but you, you don't have that same energy when it comes to KSI, though. Oh, but th that's my business partner. Like, oh, so you can't defend your brother when it comes to KSI because that's your business partner. But <laughs> when it's convenient for you, you can defend him. Like what? I'm, I'm real with it. I, I clearly need all the details though. I don't know what what beef they have or what beef Gideon has with Jake. I don't know. To be real, you don't deserve to be real with me. 
real to. Yeah, right, bro. You, you don't deserve to be real to. Hey, hey, you got another fight. You got a whole another fight to worry about. Yeah, you. Hey, hey, I was keeping the I was keeping the jokes. I was keeping the jokes. Please leave. You're the one that told me. Yo, please leave. Hey, hey, hey. Please, say less. Please. Hey, say less, Logan. Hey, good luck with your fight, Logan. And I want to know right now in the comments, what do you guys think Why is going to happen in He says something about switching seats. What is he talking about? Honestly, Logan looks juiced to the gills. Well, this other guy kind of just looks like a normal pedestrian. I mean, I know size doesn't necessarily matter in a fight, but I honestly have a feeling that this guy might get washed by Logan Paul. And here's just a little bonus clip for you guys the where the man himself, Adam22, comes out to defend Logan Paul. Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying I'm to embarrass sure Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance. Oh, so that's why you jumping in because you relate. Shut up. I spent time with before Logan. Uh, Dylan, this is one of the goats. If his girl has actually spent time in the presence of Ja Rule, then he should be proud of it. Oh my Personally, God. I think the more men that your right. woman has spent time with before you get this her, is the more desirable she becomes. How about that, Dylan? And let's be honest, guys. At this point, does anyone really want the king cut coming to bat for them? <laughs> and I guess in the final attempt to troll, Logan actually set up this website where it shows how many days it's been uh, since Dylan's last fight. Either way, guys, we're gonna see what happens in this situation, but overall, pretty entertaining press conference. Y'all let me know. Ghetto, this is so ghetto. <laughs> I cannot. But yeah, I don't think he should have came at Gideon like that. Again, I don't know all the details, but Gideon was also very respectful. <laughs> he was really respectful the whole time. While he called him names, you corny, you da 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 da, you two faced, da da da. Like, he was like, all right, yeah, okay, be safe. Like, have a good fight. Good luck. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think Logan is just doing a lot. But yeah, this is a mess. All of this definitely seems fake, though. It definitely seems orchestrated for sure. But, I mean, it's entertaining. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.